Hello, my name is Amanda Jordan and I'm with Cunard National Accounts. I'm so happy to be here today with you and share some really exciting information about everything that Cunard has going on in 2023. And I have a sneak peek into our new Alaska program for 2024. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in and get started. I have a lot of great information to share with you today. I did want to start with a brief overview of Cunard because we have been in business for over 180 years, a legacy and history that we are so incredibly proud of. We have so many firsts in the industry, so many amazing stories that guests and travel advisors share with us all of the time. And we select some of the most beautiful and storied parts of our past to pay homage to. Well, guests are on board every day there's something special but we've also evolved over our entire time in business to make sure that we're giving guests the very best of luxury today we have three brand pillars that go into everything that Kinar does the first is that we went we want guests to feel special that starts with the customer service experience we have an amazing white star service program um, that is part of our history and legacy where we have one crew member for every two guests on board. So you can imagine a very high level of customer service and the ability to add surprise and delight to guest interactions with crew on board every day. We also have the very top end of luxury with our grill suites. These are the top end suites. Our Queen's Grill Suite, which are the highest category of accommodations, come with a butler, its own private dining area, it really is all out luxury. We also have signature Cunard experiences like our afternoon tea every day. Um, it is one of my favorite experiences on board. Nobody does afternoon tea like Cunard. And we have many of those types of um, events and activities that happen uh, multiple times throughout the day. The second brand pillar that we have is that we want to inspire guests who travel with us. This, of course, starts with the careful curation of our itineraries, which are always balanced with a variety of the must-see destinations, along with some unique hidden gems, um, amazing little ports, and then, of course, relaxing sea days because guests want to either relax or enjoy all of the many unique activities that Cunard offers throughout the day, including our World Class Insights Program. This is our guest lecture program where we have amazing people from all walks of life that come on board on every single voyage. We have really wonderful talks and programs that are very interactive and immersive, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. But we also have event voyages, and these are um, where we have many guest lecturers come on board with it's all tied into one particular theme. Um, guests really love this. This is a great way to find other people who have an affinity for the same kind of um, interest that you have. And I'll show you what those are in a little bit as well. We also at Cunard find that giving guests ample space and many, many choices provides a true feeling of freedom, our third brand pillar. We have wide open deck spaces and a variety of grand venues that offer guests the opportunity, as I mentioned before, to join in to many unique experiences throughout their voyage, or if they choose and want to relax at the spa or grab a book at the largest library at sea instead, guests will always have plenty of seating to choose from in venues that never feel crowded. It's just a really refined experience. Luxury on a grand scale is unique to Cunard. We have larger ships built for the luxury guest, but we have an intimate fill with that white star service I mentioned. This gives, gives guests who sail with us a large variety of entertainment options with a very high level of customer service. There are just a handful on here. We have many more beyond this, but some of our favorites that we love sharing um, with potential guests and that our, our current guests absolutely love. We have ballroom dancing lessons every day. We have gala events throughout our voyages. We also have host, um, dance hosts. So if you're a solo traveler or if you have a partner who doesn't like to dance quite as much as you do, you'll always have a dance partner. We also have one of my favorites, the Golden Lion Pub, where we host a pub lunch every day that's phenomenal, the best fish and chips you'll ever have, as well as fun activities like trivia, karaoke. We have a full-size theater with Broadway-style shows at our Royal Court Theater. We have Maria Wellness and Beauty. And you know, I actually, um, instead of going through all of these, I wanted to run through some images of our ship so you can get a feel of what it's like to be welcomed on board a Cunard Queen. 
This is a picture of Queen Mary II, the Grand Lobby, just beautiful, large open area, plenty of seating, never is gonna feel crowded. Um, we have a games deck if you're like me and love being out on the open ocean and enjoying the beautiful weather. We have a games deck. Um, this one is on Queen Elizabeth, which I just sailed on with my family. We had a great time um, with these fun outdoor activities. And then when you have time to indulge in wellness, we have a beautiful spa with every treatment you can imagine, all inspired by the ocean. Maria Wellness and Beauty offers a holistic experience that is exclusive to Cunard. I mentioned the Golden Lion Pub. It is a favorite of Cunard guests. It's a relaxed, friendly place. Um, jeans and t-shirts are always welcome, which of course makes it a popular spot for lunch. It stays casual in the evenings as well for guests who want a casual dinner and entertainment. The Golden Lion is a great option. I know one of the things that people tend to say to us about Cunard, one of the misconceptions is that they think that we might be too formal or they're gonna have to get dressed up every night. Really, the, the opportunity is there, but the choice is yours. You don't have to get dressed up if you don't want to, although many people love the Roaring Twenties Gala or um, the many different themes that we have. Um, so anyhow, going into the Royal Court Theater, we offer amazing production shows and entertainment in this beautiful theater, a full-size theater that gives a true West End of London feeling. And we do offer private box seats that can be reserved for guests who want an extra treat. We also have the largest dance floor at sea on Queen Mary II, although all of our ships have this beautiful, large wooden dance floor and area for live music. Um, it's used in the afternoon for dance lessons, as well as high tea every afternoon with live music, and then gala evenings in um, at least twice a week um, with live music as well. So this is a, a hub of our ship. We also do things like acting workshops, afternoon tea, oh, I mentioned afternoon tea, cabaret shows, and more. There's just endless activities that happen here. Another unique feature in the luxury market for Cunard is that we have a full children's program available. We are an amazing choice for families. I sailed with my own family this past summer, and everybody had a phenomenal time. Now I want to go through and show you a handful of the different types of staterooms we have on board. The top left is a picture of our top end Queen's Grill suite. This is a duplex apartment on Queen Mary 2, 2,400 square feet with an upstairs bedroom area that's separate. Um, these are absolutely beautiful and they do fill up first. So if you're interested, definitely let your travel agent know as soon as possible. Our bottom left-hand picture here is one of our Princess Grill suites. This is comparable to a mini suite or junior suite on other lines, very spacious. It does have its own upgraded dining experience. So you have your own dining room um, specifically for Princess Grill suite guests. Um, that is a lovely experience. We also have Britannia stateroom. So the upper right-hand area is, um, that's a picture of one of our Britannia balcony staterooms. And these are beautiful staterooms as well. We have them in balcony, interior, and ocean view. And then the bottom right that I also wanted to show is our solo cabins. This is fantastic because guests who sail in a solo cabin don't have to pay any single supplement. So um, there are about 10 of these on each one of our ships. Uh, and definitely, if you're interested in traveling solo with no single supplement, then you should inquire with your travel advisor as soon as possible because these fill up very quickly as well. So I did want to just give a mention to our new ship, Queen Anne, that will start sailing with Cunard in uh, May of 2024. Queen Anne will be our 249th ship to enter the Cunard fleet. We're super excited to share information. I have just a few renderings right now to share. This is just a few of our favorites. One of our Princess Grill suites, I love these. And the, de the decor, the waterfall effect on the headboard, um, I just think they're so stunningly beautiful. I definitely want to sail in one of these. I did have a picture of our Britannia dining room. I think this is just a stunning image. I'm so excited to um, sail on Queen Anne and experience this firsthand. All of our Britannia dining rooms are beautiful and have 
amazing food and a wine list that is just seems endless. So fantastic dining available there. I mentioned our Queen's Room with that beautiful dance floor. This will be the Queen's Room on Queen Anne where we'll host gala events and all those other fun activities I mentioned. And our Golden Lion Pub, which had to be expanded because this will be our largest ship ever with 3,000, it shall hold 3,000 passengers. So of course we had to enhance and expand our Golden Lion Pub, which is a favorite of Cunarder's. She will still serve um, lunch every afternoon and carry beautiful selections of craft beers that are um, themed after the destination that you're sailing in, as well as some traditionals as well. She will have a midship pool, which is just lovely. This is a fun, active place for entertainment. Lots of movies, music, games. Um, I like to say this is where the kids like to hang out and meet up every afternoon. We do also have another pool in the afternoon. Um, this is one of my favorite spots and actually my whole family love this because it is a little bit more low key, um, quiet, relaxed, tranquil. There is a dining area out here, a grill that serves lots of amazing food. There will always be something themed after the destination. Um, that you're sailing through and you can just sit back here and take in gorgeous views of the destination that you're sailing in. So speaking of destinations, I want to do a quick run through, but first I have a quick video on our 2023 voyages. Love that video. It just um, always excites me to think about going out into all these destinations around the world. When you're on board, you have the amazing Cunard experience, pop some champagne, go to the pub, have an amazing dinner, see a beautiful show in the theater. It's all waiting for us. So um, if you're like me, that just makes you, you know, ready to book a cruise. And we have so many to choose from in 2023, 158 new voyages. Um, lots of different variation um, of duration from two to 42 nights, lots and lots of time in port. We average 10 and a half hours in port. We have lots of late evening departures, so you can go out and explore all day and into the evening. And we have 15 overnight calls. Um, so lots of exciting destinations and itineraries. I'll start with Queen Mary 2, our flagship, the world's only ocean liner, who is built for that point-to-point -point service from New York to Southampton and continues that consistently throughout the year. She also sails to Canada and New England, the fjords, the Mediterranean, and some holiday Caribbean voyages as well. I'll start with the transatlantic crossing. A lot of people are aware of this experience and that Cunard does it best. A lot of people choose to do this as, uh, to celebrate one of life's landmark moments. A lot of people pair it with a European adventure, whether it's going to be an FIT vacation, uh, a guided vacation, or a river cruise. Starting off with a transatlantic crossing or ending your vacation with a transatlantic crossing, there's no better way to get to and from Europe. Um, it's seven days of luxury um, out at sea on the world's ocean on only ocean liner. Uh, so this is our lineup for 2023. I took out the ones that have already happened. We did have a few more in there, but she's sailing April through January 2025. So lots and lots of options for you. And as I mentioned, if you're traveling to Europe for any reason, a great way to start or end your vacation and less than business class um, is a a Cunard transatlantic crossing. So um, talk to your travel advisor about that. And a fun fact about the crossing, we are the only ship in the world that has kennels. 
So we do welcome dogs and cats on board. We have a kennels department. So if you're traveling for a long period of time and need to get your dog or cat to go over there with you, they can relax in luxury as well. They're very well looked after. We have a kennel master that stays with them and looks after them. In the kennels area, there is an indoor play area. There's an outdoor play area and there is a pet parent lounge. So you can come and visit your buddy whenever you want. And they are treated like royalty. When you sail with a cat or a dog, you're the first on board and you're the first off. The transatlantic crossing serves as the quarantine period. So there's no quarantine necessary when you're going to and from Southampton. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in that, um, definitely talk to your travel advisor because those accommodations we say are the ones that book up first. So they're sold out for 2023, but we do still have a little bit of space in 2024. I mentioned event voyages. This is a staple of the transatlantic crossing. While you have seven days at sea, we wanna keep it filled with entertainment and fun experiences. So these are our lineup for 2023. We have Dance the Atlantic, Festival of Food and Wine. That one is all but sold out. There's a few staterooms left, um, but it's been very popular. Anthony Inglis and the National Symphony Orchestra is a staple for us and um, we do that yearly. And then Literature Festival at Sea. Now these are all fun interactive experiences. So you'll get to see performances, hear lectures, Q&A sessions, kind of get behind the scenes. A lot of times there are um, like for Dance the Atlantic, you'll get to see um, performances um, as well as rehearsals. I and didn't get that. There Could you try again? there will be dance lessons throughout the experience as well. With the National Symphony Orchestra, um, we will also allow you to see, of course, performances, but rehearsals as well. And you can even audition to sing in the choir um, during one of the performances. So lots of fun experiences. I also mentioned the other entertainment that happens on board is spectacular. We are super proud to be welcoming back the Royal Shakespeare Company for their second season on board Queen Mary 2. They'll be joining us on the final leg of the world voyage in 2023, so in April, and they'll stay on board with us for 11 weeks. So they'll be on there through June and give memorable performances of um, performances of Boundless at Sea, Miss Littlewood, as well as they'll host workshops Shakespeare tales, poetry readings, screenings, and more. So if you're interested in Shakespeare and theater and performances, this is a great way to get hands-on experiences um, with performers. I think I mentioned that we will have Queen Mary too going to um, Canada, New England. Her first voyage there will be our Independence Day celebration. This is a bucket list one for sure. Round trip from New York and I can just imagine sailing in and out of that iconic city, but she also overnights in Boston on the 4th of July. So um, an amazing experience, but we do also have a fall um, itinerary as well, Canada, New England in September. This is a 14 night, but it can be done as um, a seven night. So you could sail from New York to Quebec or from Quebec, Quebec to New York as a seven day option. Um, but for the full 14 night, I think this is a beautiful itinerary and you get a double overnight in Quebec. So beautiful. We have this gorgeous fjords itinerary round trip from Southampton. We do also offer a fjords itinerary round trip out of New York. So if you don't want to fly um, internationally, this is a great way to avoid that and um, just have lots of time on board and on the beautiful Queen Mary too, with all that fun and activity um, while you're sailing to and from Europe and then have a very comprehensive fjords itinerary. We also have Mediterranean highlights and the fjords in May. So this is a longer itinerary, but again, round trip from New York, no international flights necessary. We also offer Mediterranean highlights, round trip from Southampton, beautiful itinerary. Um, and then we also offer a Mediterranean Highlights round trip from New York as well. So we have a good number of these grand voyages round trip from New York um, throughout the year. And I mentioned that Queen Mary II will be in the Caribbean um, in the, during the holiday season. So we have two round trip New York Caribbean itineraries, one during Thanksgiving um, timeframe and then one during 
um, the Christmas and New Year's time frame. So it's a great way to escape and get into warmer weather, but still celebrate all of the beautiful traditions of the holidays on board Queen Mary II. Now, gonna head over and talk about Queen Elizabeth, my favorite. She goes to Alaska and she's my favorite because I just had an amazing experience with my family sailing to Alaska. Um, she also will go um, down the coast of California through the Panama Canal and over to the Mediterranean when she's done in Alaska. Queen Elizabeth is an amazing ship and offers amazing Alaskan experiences. We have those beautiful grill suites that include drinks and gratuities when you book one of those grill suites. Um, both the Princess and Queen's grill suites offer that. We have our amazing White Star service on board. Um, as well as amazing itineraries and full days in port on less crowded port days. I can tell you when I was there in August, there was never more than two other ships in port with us at any time. So we have a very relaxing experience in general, but we also offer sea days in there. So guests have more time to relax. Glacier Bay National Park on all departures in 2023 and Alaska inspired everything on board from the entertainment to the food um, and then we also have our insights speakers, those guest lecturers that come on board and share experiences with our guests. We have an amazing lineup for 2023. I have one more quick video to show you before I get into that. I love that video. It just brings back so many memories of my family sailing through Alaska last summer. So let's let you know all there is to know about 2023. Queen Elizabeth will be coming from Japan to Alaska. So there's still the opportunity to com combine those two destinations together. And we will have these beautiful voyages, um, seven to 12 nights through Alaska, beautiful itineraries. I'll start with this 12 night itinerary. This is of course round trip Vancouver, includes both Hubbard Glacier as well as Glacier Bay National Park and Tracy Arm Fjord. So three, three full days of glacier viewing experiences as well as um, some beautiful ports of call like Icy Strait Point, Haines, Alaska, Sitka, Ketchikan, Juneau. It just, I feel like it goes everywhere. And this is the itinerary where Bear Grylls from Man vs. Wild will be on board with us as our guest lecturer. He is an amazing um, speaker. So very, very much looking forward to that. We also have this beautiful 10 night itinerary. We Most of our itineraries are 10 nights. This one will feature a speaker, um, Kenton Cool. I'll talk more about him later, but um, we have amazing speakers on board. And then again, those must see ports like Juneau, um, Glacier Bay, Ketchikan, but always something a little bit off the beaten path like Sitka um, to add in to the experience as well. We do have one seven night itinerary. This is an amazing itinerary over the 4th of July holiday. Again, round trip Vancouver includes Glacier Bay National Park. You still get to see Sitka, Juneau and Ketchikan. So a great experience. 
Now, I mentioned the ports of call multiple times. We have amazing experiences, shore excursions. Um, there's just so much to see and do in Alaska, as well as the amazing glacier viewing opportunities at Hubbard Glacier and Glacier Bay National Park. They are just unforgettable experiences. This is a picture of me with my daughters. That was in Icy Strait Point, where there's an amazing gondola that goes up this very high mountain, um, takes you to the top where you just have these sweeping, gorgeous views. Um, it was a beautiful day while we were there, and um, we just had so much fun in all the different ports of call. If you're like me and you wanna eat your way through a destination, Alaska is a great place to do that. We have, again, shore experiences that are culinary themed, but we also have Alaska themed food and beverages throughout the entire ship. We have an enhanced afternoon tea, a champagne afternoon tea that's themed for Alaska. We have um, amazing um, uh, salmon and um, lots of seafood experiences not only in our main dining room, but also at the grill. We had hot pots with crab legs and corn and potatoes that were amazing. We also had um, a seafood tower in the Steakhouse at the Veranda specialty restaurant. So no matter what you're looking for, you will find it. It's amazing, the experiences on board. We do also have amazing entertainment that's themed for the destination. In Alaska, we have an ice white gala but the picture I have here is actually, we had a Roaring Twenties gala as well. So me and my daughters and my husband, not pictured here, dressed up, got into it. It was a lot of fun. Um, there are heritage guides on every sailing. There is a naturalist that does commentary from the bridge. There um, are National Park Service rangers who come on board. And then of course we have the speakers who are on board and sailing with us. This year, an amazing lineup. This is just a few. We have one on every single departure. Kenton Cool, a very well-known leading uh, high altitude climber. Felicity Aston, who is a polar scientist turned explorer, the first woman to ski across Antarctica alone. Um, they have amazing stories to share with our guests. We also have partnered with Rocky Mountaineer to offer cruise tours. Both pre and post cruise experiences are available now. Um, you can book all of it through your travel advisor in a seamless um, experience because we, we book it all for you um, through Cunard. I mentioned Queen Elizabeth will then go through the Panama Canal when she's done with that Alaska season. So our most popular itinerary is right here, Panama Canal from Los Angeles to Fort Lauderdale. She'll then head over to the Mediterranean doing the series of seven and 14 night um, round trip from Barcelona, beautiful Mediterranean itineraries. Here's one of our 14 nights, one of my favorites. It again offers the must see ports of call as well as hidden gems and plenty of sea days so you can relax or spend lots of time on board with all of those activities. We also have Queen Victoria who uh, sails throughout Europe. Um, after she's done with her world cruise, she'll be in Europe the rest of 2023 doing a series of these beautiful itineraries like this. British Isles itinerary that's round trip from Southampton. We also have Atlantic Coast and Iberia, so a little bit warmer weather for our guests in June. Um, great itinerary here. Iceland, which is just a hot destination, uh, coupled with the British Isles. I love that it has three stops in Iceland and an overnight in Reykjavik. Um, we also, Queen Victoria will be sailing through the Mediterranean, round trip from Southampton, and then on to Norway and the Northern Lights. I love that she has overnight stops in both Tromso and Narvik. So great opportunity for guests to see those elus elusive Northern Lights. And then she, for the holidays, will be doing a Canary Island celebration. Um, so again, escaping to warmer weather, but all the traditions of the holidays available on board. And your travel agent is a professional who is just so well versed in getting all of the different offers and combining them together for you. So um, definitely talk to your travel advisor about the signature exclusive benefits, our limited time offers. Um, they can combine all of these together for you. And they have a cruise sale going on from March 11th to March 26th that can give you extra onboard credit and reduced deposit. We um, Our current uh, limited time offer is called Treat Yourself on Us and gives you onboard credits um, and, sa and savings over our launch 
as well. So I did talk about the signature exclusive benefits, and these are on select itineraries. Many of them I talked about, um, but I wanted to let you know what they are. Again, onboard credit, that champagne afternoon tea, and then when you book a balcony or above, dinner at our specialty restaurant, Steakhouse at the Veranda. So now, just a quick sneak peek into our 2024 Alaska program that goes on sale March 15th. We will have 10 round trip sailings from Vancouver, glacier viewing on each voyage, full days in port and less crowded port days, Alaska inspired everything on board, those insights from the experts, those amazing speakers who come on board with us and Queen Elizabeth, such a beautiful ship to sail on. And in Alaska, it's just such a perfect destination for that beautiful ship. So just a quick overview so you can see she'll again be sailing from Japan so you can put those two destinations together. And then she will have 10 voyages starting on June 11th, round trip from Vancouver. And this is the mo most unique set of itineraries I've ever seen. We've added more off the beaten path destinations like Wrangell, Misty Fjords, Endicott Arm, again, glacier viewing on every single itinerary. Most of them are 10 nights, but there is that 11 night on July 11th and then a nine night on August 1st as well. So beautiful itineraries. And again, they go on sale March 15th and 16th. So thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited. Um, that you may be joining us on board. We cannot wait to welcome you on board one of our ships. If you have additional questions, please do get in touch with your travel advisor. They are so amazing at making sure that you are so well taken care of with us. And we just so appreciate the partnership that we have with the Cruise Web. Thanks.